computers. The Minot Air Force Base thrives and survives on databases and computer disks. This is the data processing center at the Minot Air Force Base, and it is a controlled access area. 16 online computer systems operate 24 hours a day, serving over 370 computer terminals scattered around the base. We provide computer support for the accounting and finance people, both the military and the civilian, uh, the personnel systems, both military and civilian personnel, and our, our two big users is supply and the maintenance complex. Security is critical here, not only restricting those who physically come into the room, but also those trying to come in through computer terminals. Here, online access into the computer system is manual. Someone here must physically make the connection. So the normal computer hacker who has his, his terminal in a telephone modem uh, can't interface into our system from his home. Also, the system watches for someone making too many errors in normal access procedures. Too many mistakes in that terminal is electronically locked and a message is printed out in this room. Sensitive environmental controls maintain a temperature between 65 and 75 degrees year-round with a humidity of between 40 and 60 percent. Exceed those limits and the system forces the computers to shut down to keep data from being lost. Besides disks, computer information is regularly stored on 6,000 magnetic tapes and maintained in two separate storage areas on base. Our uh, three CPUs are capable of 3.6 million transactions per second. It's a lot of information. We're not even close to being full. The data processing center serves primarily personnel and maintenance needs. A lot of it is routine data and daily information, little things. But there are millions of little things being fed in and out of this center every day. 90% of the military is made up of reports and records. Stop these machines and normal daily base operations would grind to a halt. Keith Darnay reporting.